LGBTQ plus leaders say an act of hate at a Columbus fundraiser led to something beautiful. Saturday, a group of Nazi protesters disrupted a drag brunch benefiting the Kaleidoscope Youth Center. NBC 4's Anna Hoffman is live in Columbus tonight. And Anna, what has the community response been like? Jennifer Kaleidoscope says their original fundraising goal was $5,000. Now they're at about 50,000. The executive director says, oddly enough, she can't think of a better way to get to this place than a positive response to hatred. Saturday's drag brunch in support of the Kaleidoscope Youth Center was meant to promote inclusion and community partnership. I was here with with friends and a lot of other people, and we were uh, here to have a good time and raise money for Kaleidoscope Youth Center. Then attendees say an appearance from Nazi protesters shifted the mood. We kind of saw them parading up, um, all wearing matching outfits and hoods and glasses. But not for long. Aaron Upchurch, the executive director of the Kaleidoscope Youth Center, calls what happened next magical. It became like a sanctuary. Um, People really dug deep within themselves around their love and community. Um, I saw people having blankets and tarp, and I don't know where those things came from, um, but they appeared and they were standing in front of the, the protesters, holding them up to block the view, block their view of us, but also our view of them. She says the performers commanded the stage, leading the community towards a place of unity. I love the word backfire because what it has done is it, instead of lifting up their message, it lifted up the message of community and what is possible when we all come together. Donations are coming in from across the entire country. They say even some celebrities have donated to the cause. It feels good to know that there's so much support out there um, for people living their authentic lives. They hope LGBTQ plus youth in Columbus see the true message that came out of this event. You know, we always say it takes a village and you've got all these folks who have your back. I hope that they're able to see that through the way folks are lifting up the message and con contributing to the work that we're doing. Mayor Andrew Ginther spoke out about the protest, calling it vile and saying these people do not represent our community. Upchurch says the financial support opens many doors to increase their services. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Anna Hoffman, NBC4.